After that quick compositing exercise, it will be much easier for you to follow now. Now we talk about the interface, there's this part here, which is the viewer. Down here, the second section is node graph, where we connect a few nodes and we get the final viewer, which is then visible here. On the right, every time you double click on any node, you get on the right here a list of parameters that you can tweak. But haven't you noticed something has changed in the screen? This is not Natron, this is Nuke Studio. Let's go back to Natron. And notice the huge similarities between Nuke and Natron. Nuke and Natron. Not only the interface viewer, node graph, curve editor, dope sheet, properties, viewer, node graph, curve editor, dope sheet, properties, and then you've got a list of nodes here, image, draw, time, channel, and more color, image, draw, time, channel, color, and every time you go in there, you've got some other color correct, color lookup, um, what else, grade, HSV tool, hue correct, saturation, let's go back to nuke, color, where's color, color lookup, color correct, grade, hue correct, HSV tool, saturation, for the most part, they are very, very similar. Of course, there are differences. Nuke has some paid plugins, additional plugins, but Natron has some nodes that try to mimic a little bit the functionality. So you get different nodes, but you get similar functionality. So what does it really mean for you? The fact that Nuke, um, the fact that Natron is hugely similar to Nuke in almost everything. What it means is that by learning Natron, you are automatically learning Nuke, the industry standard in compositing in high-end films. What it also means for you, especially if you are an After Effects user, is that you can add to your existing compositing skills with layers, you can add to that the node-based compositing method, which is the workflow that is used in um, high-end films. You are going to be able to do that for free with an open source application that is almost like a replica of Nuke. Well, not exactly, there are differences of course, but for the most part, it is the same. You only have wins with Natron. You get a stronger, more powerful, more visible workflow by using nodes, and you also get to work with the industry standard due to the similarities. What it also means for you is that if you learn if you know how to do something in Natron, by learning Natron, and you open Nuke for the very first time, you will be able to do it again exactly the way it's made in Natron, for the most part. Nodes are called the same thing. Read, transform, merge, viewer. Read, transform, merge, viewer. Um, read, transform, mirror, blur. Read, Nuke needs an additional node, but we'll talk about that much later. Transform, Myra, Blur, and then Merge. You have exactly the same workflow. There are, again, only wins with Natron. By learning Natron, you are learning Nuke, the industry standard.